In this video, we are just going to uh, show a, a quick tip of how you can change the default form that loads when you run your app. So I've got my app with this map and I've got my details on the, on the front uh, page when it loads. Uh, but let's say I want the map to be the default view when I load the app. So the way to do this would be to go to the project, uh, properties and global code and you find the property, which is first form. And we can choose from a drop down. We'll change it to map form. Let's save that and run when it refreshes properly. Uh, there we go, we've got our map showing. Now notice uh, we've actually got an issue here that the top menu isn't showing. So let's dig in to fix that. So let's find the code uh, where we are uh, forcing the, the header navigation uh, to uh, be persistent throughout the app. So from a previous tutorial, we've we'll actually uh, run this code on form one and it appends the header global to the NSB page uh, element, which is effectively the, the global uh, context for the app. Now notice we're only actually running it when form one shows. Now of course now that we changed the default form to be the map form instead of form one, this isn't triggering when we load uh, the map form the first time. So actually this is a, a good example of code that maybe was fine uh, at the beginning of our app but when we made some changes it introduced a bug. But actually the solution to this is not to attach it to an event and just to have it as global code that will run um, when the the app loads in the same way that we've got this uh, other code here event handlers triggered they're available at all times so if I've just changed that to effectively run whenever the app runs and let's run this and do a hard refresh and there we go we've got our head up menu back and it's uh, appearing all fine. So we'll just click through, test it out, and there we go. So we've just fixed that, that bug as well.